In regards to challenges that we face, yes, the state of emergency has um, put some sort of restrictions on how quickly DOE can, can move because everyone is sheltering at home at the moment. However, the, the permitting system that DOE has was um, made to be online, and so at the time up until April 15, they were able to process and, and deal with any permits that came in. Uh, in terms of enforcement, well, as soon as we get out of the state of emergency period, uh, DOE would, would begin uh, the process of doing its spot checks, uh, mobilization with the customs department um, to ensure that uh, during that state of emergency period, everything was, was as per laid out in the law and there was no importation. Okay, so we're still in schedule to meet the the phase out um, target, right? Uh, yes, as far as I know, um, the DOE had, uh, like I said, expressed some some um, challenges with regards to being able to um, effectively move along their uh, implementation and their on-site checks and, and, and their field work that they need to do. Um, because of the state of emergency, um, they have expressed some challenges, but I haven't had any requests or any, any, any suggestions that the, the timeline be extended. It's written in the law as is. Any changes to the timeline would have to um, be reflected again in law. So it, it's not an easy thing to change the timeline. So as, mm -hmm. as it is now, we're on schedule. Uh, the timeline stays as written in the law, as I just outlined. And within a year's time, or less than a year's time, um, this should be, the phase out should be completed.